first log into Auto Entry, you'll see our four main folders on the main screen. Purchase folder for all your purchase invoices, bills, receipts, and credit notes. Sales folder for all your sales invoices and credit notes. The expense report folder for submitting expenses to an expense report for approval and publishing through to Sage. And of course, the bank statement folder for all your bank and credit card statement extraction too. In order to integrate Auto Entry with Sage, simply click on the company settings button top left. In company settings, select the integration tab and click connect to Sage Accounting. The integration goes through fully automatically. Auto Entry will then pull through the full list of suppliers, nominal accounts, VAT codes from Sage that you can now analyze your invoices within Auto Entry before publishing them straight through to Sage. In order to upload your documents into Auto Entry, simply click on the upload button, selecting the files from your scanned invoices. You can also upload via email or of course using the Auto Entry phone app to upload expenses and invoices direct from your phone. Once processed, the invoices will then land into your inbox where you'll see the headline data that has been extracted, namely the invoice date, supplier name, and over to the right hand side, currency, net fat and total. In order to get these invoices into Sage, using the three drop down menus, simply select the supplier account, nominal account, and indeed the VAT code where applicable. Once they're all filled in, simply click to publish on the left hand side and the invoices are published automatically straight through to Sage account. We can of course also click on the view icon to the far left, which gives us a bit more granular detail on what was extracted from the invoice and of course the invoice image over to the right hand side. Other standard features that are included in auto entry is the ability to mark invoices as paid, a practice homepage for accountants and bookkeepers, automatic currency conversion, even auto publish for those regular invoices or utility bills and optional full line item extraction with the ability to use nominal accounts and tax code rules, much like your bank rules for recognizing line item descriptions. Under the expense report folder, you can give clients or users the ability to upload their expenses via the phone app, adding them to reports. A reviewer can then approve or cancel those reports and of course publish them straight through to Sage as well. And with the bank statement folder where you don't have a bank feed available from your bank or you have a client who uses purely paper statements, uploading the statements to auto entry, full extraction is done and we provide a file that you can import directly into Sage accounting effectively mimicking a bank feed and that's a quick introduction to auto entry with sage accounting if you do have any questions simply click on the blue bubble down the bottom right within auto entry and we'd be more than happy to help thank you very much